Monday morning and the week has already started horrendously. As you saw last week, we had George Browns deliver an overseeder that we had on hire. And this weekend, we saw more rain, which meant we're not getting any seeding done. So we've had to get that picked back up this morning. And also, Rob has called in unwell. So it's just me and Ash today. So today has completely been flipped on its head. But we're going to get to the first parish council of the day and get cracking. So as soon as we get there, I'm on the strimmer today and I can just get started getting all of the edges and fixtures and fittings done as Ash is on the right and also blowing up. And we're just going to progress through the parish getting all the verges, open spaces, all tidied up, mowed and strimmed. Now we've only got the right with us today and we're not doing too badly. Well, I've literally just got back to the van, still at the parish council. Ash should be coming around that corner any moment. Last time we were here with me, Rob and Ash, it took us about five hours to do. We got her at half 11. It's just turned two o'clock. So me and Ash have banged it out in two and a half hours. I was on the strimmer the whole time. I am absolutely gagging for Ash to come around that corner and unlock the van so I can grab a drink. But yeah, we've absolutely smashed it. So happy days. Considering this morning, we weren't sure what was gonna get done. The cedar had to go back. Rob didn't come in to work. We've turned it around, so happy days. I'm really happy. Um, me and Ash just work like a well-oiled machine. Keep our heads down and smash it out. We don't really need to talk to each other. We both know what we're doing. So yeah, happy days. Gonna get in the van, hopefully. Get a drink, get back to the unit. There we have it. It's been one of those days with been back to the unit now and we've packed the van ready for tomorrow and got everything ready for the morning ready to attack tomorrow it's a shame all of this seed was meant to be in the ground by now however just one of those things isn't it it's what we what we deal with every week and i'm hoping that because we've had such a wet start to the season and winter that summer is fantastic. Still making progress on the new contracts. Things are starting to slot into place and looking good. Again, really excited to share the journey with you. And once we've got our boots on the ground, I will probably explain all the steps I've had to do in order to get ready for it. It's one of those experiences that you've just got to get over this hurdle. Um, it's definitely growth and growth unless you've got like loads of money sat in the bank account can be stressful but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens i guess we'll see you on tuesday we're on site it's just me and ash again we're at one of the schools we've got to be quick because there's exams on let's get on with it so we get the hustler off the trailer ready to go with the height set and ash does the same with the right and now we can start attacking the grass. I'm gonna be doing the wide areas and Ash is on the right doing all of the areas that the tractor and the hustler can't fit. Now, the hustler's doing really well in the wide open spaces, but judging by those stripes, and you can probably tell that's not been done on the hustler. And that's because on Saturday, I came across with the tractor to get this done beforehand, so it's all ready. Which means we can concentrate on getting all of the smaller bits done and get in and out. So we're all sorted, we've been round, strimmed it all, Ash followed up and blew it. I can't believe he made me all strim it all again. Get packed up here, move over to the next site. So we're unloading at the next site and this is a quick easy one, just this front edge and some grass that wraps around the car park. So we get straight on with that, I'm strimming and Ash is on the mower and once we're done here, we can move on to the next one. Okay, so the line that I've put in, that's literally just because everything over that side is mega wet. We don't want to get the hustler stuck, but all of that side of the field is absolutely fine. So I've stuck a line in. I'm the one that's walked it, so I know where the line is. Ash is just setting a height on the hustler and then we can crack on. And that's exactly what we do. We've got a couple of acres. Ash is on the hustler. I'm on the right doing all of the smaller areas and around all of the trees. Then we've got the strimming. Now onto the next one. And now we're here, it's another quick one, it's just a block of flats. So we're gonna get the mowing and the strimming done, then Ash is gonna blow up as I get the first course of weed control down here. Once all of that's done, we can move on to the next one. So we're at the next one and it's a parish council park that again, we've got to box collect, but it's not too bad. So I try and get all of the strimming done as soon as I can for Ash so he can collect the waste. And he's using the Crest commercial mower today. And it seems to be performing a lot better than last time we used it. Maybe it was just really wet last time, but we're getting on with it well and it looks like Ash is enjoying himself. 
And with that all done, we can now get back to the unit and get all of the kit sorted, ready for tomorrow. It's half six and it is Wednesday morning. We are scheduled for more rain today, so we're trying to get as much done as we can beforehand. However, that has been hampered a little bit. I had an email last week regarding a client. It was the client security team that um, messaged me. We gotta go take a look at some potential health and safety implications after this. So yeah, it's putting pressure on the day. Not only that, I had a meeting last night uh, with the new contract that we have signed and I didn't get home until about half ten. So yeah, it was a long day yesterday, so I'm feeling tired. But that is irrelevant. I chose this life, didn't I? Anyway, we're going to get the kit out and get cracking with this school. We've got all of the grass to do. I've already done the tractor work here. It was here on Saturday. So we've got all of the small bits, the line marking and all of that good stuff. So we make a start and Ash is on the strimmer and I'm running around on the right. We've not got too much grass to do here because luckily I did the most of it on Saturday with the tractor. But we are trying to get it done before it rains, especially the line marking. So Ash starts to get the line marker ready and prepped and we get all of the sports pitches on the ground before the rain comes down. On the way to the meeting that I spoke about, we stopped off at Champion Workwear in Kettering for a free coffee. So you join me on Thursday morning. After the school yesterday, we had to go have our meeting on site with the facilities manager. I briefly touched on it yesterday. I'm not gonna go into it in too much detail, uh, but it had been reported to me that someone hadn't used the designated smoking area. Um, anyway, so we've gone back and forth um, with the facilities manager, not in a bad way, just trying to organize when we're both available. And there was certain things going from the head, could be two stroke smoke, could be this, could be that, but anyway, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all done and dusted now. As a business owner, it's so hard. Um, employees can do their site inductions, they can look at the rams, they can read the health and safety handbooks and the employee handbooks we give them and the contracts and all this stuff, but if they choose to ignore it or it gets ignored or whatever than that, you're you're stuck there with your trousers down and your hands up. So listen, it's done. I'm very lucky in the sense that I use Bright HR. I don't know if you know what Bright HR is, but Bright HR is basically like a HR and health and safety subscription fee that you can pay for. And there's an app that deals with everything. If it's not in the app, uh, you can give them a call free of charge. Obviously, there's a monthly subscription. Um, but yeah, I rang those guys and those guys were excellent. Um, so yeah, it's a chapter that has now been closed and we can move on. But then when we came out of the meeting, it wasn't raining as hard as the weather app said it was going to rain. So me and Ash were just running around doing little bits here and there to try and uh, make the day productive. But yeah, it is what it is. So basically we scheduled the parish council that we was meant to be doing yesterday for today. And the sun is out today, so giving Ash a lay in, he's meeting me on site at the parish. I'm gonna to get to the unit, get loaded up and get to site. And I appreciate that you probably don't wanna be sat here listening to me waffling on on YouTube, but I think these parts are important, especially if you're solo on your own currently and you want to see how we manage staff issues health and safety issues and stuff like that so let me know in the comments if it is useful if it isn't i just simply won't put it in in the future but yeah let's get to the site morning morning i'm ready so we aren't going to be taking the hustler around with us today because it's just two of us but we're going to get two wide areas done before we crack on with the rest of it so i'm on the right and ash is on the hustler and we do the two wide open spaces that the hustler is really beneficial for once that's done we get all of the kit fueled up and ready and prepped and we can start making our way around the parish it's a fairly big one but we just start plowing through it i'm on the right ash is on the strimmer and i also have to jump off to do the blowing I'm in an alley at the minute and as you know, this could be dog poo roulette, whether you're mowing or strimming. Anyway, we're making good progress on mowing, 
Ash is streaming and I'm jumping off to do all of the blowing as well. So we're getting our steps in, but we're just working through it methodically, making sure it's all nice and clean. And it's actually turned out to be a really, really nice day. We're finally on the last road leading back to the Ranger. Right, we're all finished at that parish. Ash has stole the Ranger and he is on the way to another parish council. Now this parish is one that we're starting tomorrow, but we're gonna get ahead of it because it's just me and Ash. We're gonna get ahead of it, get the tractor over there and get the field done today. It's about two o'clock. We've done that large parish in really, really good time, around four and a half hours with just two of us smashing it. Anyway, got to get back to the unit, get the Trimax on the back of the tractor and get over to the parish council. So back at the unit, I get the Trimax on the back of the tractor and I can head over to the next site. Now Ash is already here, so I get the Trimax dropped and the GPS loaded and I start off with the border work first. I'm going to do all the tight nitty bits first so then we can crack on with the field. But as I'm doing that, Ash is just whipping around on the right to do all of the smaller areas and then I can start laying some stripes down on the field. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back in the tractor. And once that's done, Ash is gonna get all of the strimming sorted and I'm gonna look at the stripes. And we're now back at the unit and I'm gonna just crack on with some admin. And Ash is on his way back now, so I'll get the shutter open for him and we will unload and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be another busy day. We've got another parish council to do and I'm potentially going to look at a mower as the new contract that we have won will require something that we don't have. So more news on that later on in the week, but we shall see. It's Friday morning, we are at the parish. We've already made our way up to the cemetery, cutting grass here. But yeah, start the day off with the parish council. I'm on the strimmer, Ash is on the right and blowing. Let's get on with it. So as mentioned, we're now starting in the cemetery. And if you've done cemeteries, you'll know there's lots of little fiddly bits. So Ash has started off with the strimming and I am on the mower getting all of them done. And we can just work our way through the parish after that. Now we don't have the hustler today, so we are doing the wide open spaces on the right. So it is taking a little longer than usual and it's on and off rain, so we didn't film much, but we're getting through it and it's all looking very good. Uh, right, we rattled that out, didn't we boy? Hey, cool, big time. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the unit and uh, we've got some line marking and other things to do. So let's get, let's get on with it. Okay, we're over at the sports pitches. You've missed all of the action and that's because we need to suspense. We have been to go look at the mower and we did purchase it and we got a bit of a bargain. I want you all to guess what mower it is. It has done these stripes. It is a ride-on machine and we needed it for a stadium football pitch. So, yeah, in the comments, let me know what you think, but it's looking glorious. We've managed to get six pitches cut and line marked. It's looking fantastic. Without giving it away, give the viewers a clue as to what mower it is. <laughs> and we get over to the next site and the mower does another really good job. And now Ash is line marking, getting it all pitch perfect. And there we have it, back to the unit and that is Friday done. Now I am working tomorrow, so I'll see you in the morning one pair of pants later. You join me on Sunday morning and I am out to go and cut some grass in the tractor just to make everything a little bit smoother next week. Yesterday I was out, I managed to get all of the pitches I needed to get line marked before their games and we had a familiar face come back. We went over to Champion Workwear to get him some workwear printed and sorted out and hopefully he'll be rejoining the team and we'll be starting another new chapter with them. So let us know in the comments if you can guess who it is just by from their mannerisms if you've been watching Behind the Blade for a while and watching us on YouTube for a while. But anyway, Champion Workwear in Kettering sorted us a fresh batch of clothing.
running a team is always hard. At the moment, we probably need four team members, including myself, enable me to carry on doing business development and the ad hoc stuff in the tractor. But I'm sure with this person's experience, we'll be able to get back on top of it and fulfill the new contracts we have won. So only time will tell. But anyway, the footage from today in the tractor will be going in next week's video. So once again, thank you so much for watching us on Cut Crew. If you're not subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe. It helps us out tremendously. And as per usual, hit that like button and stick any questions in the comments or any feedback. And we'll see you in the next one.